Hi, I'm Karen Hodgins, creator of Nifty Numbers Family Math Night, and in this video I'm going to share with you the super fun way we use Scrabble boards to have participants sign in at my last Family Math Night event. Now, I needed to create the Scrabble boards, and I created seven of them um, because I had one Scrabble board for each grade, grade level, and it's a K-6 school. Um, we also had a little competition going on with the Scrabble board, so I'll get to that in just a second. But you can see here the Scrabble board that I created, and I just used um, chart paper, okay, like this, that you can buy in sheets at uh, any office store, and it, are, it had the grids on it, which made it super useful um, for being able to place all of the items. And you can see that um, I needed to obviously to create all the little, um, the little cards on here and on our website at familymathlight.com under the resources section you can actually print these out. You print them out and you cut them out and then you just place them on a Scrabble board. Now one of our curriculum consultants when she found that I was doing this came up with a brilliant idea of changing the double word score to double name score. Um, so um, I did that. She also came up with a brilliant idea of starting off the board with the school mascot. So this school that we did last week was Alamo, and they're the Alamo Eagles. So we wrote Alamo um, Eagles on here. So thank you, Mrs. Durban, um, for those awesome tips. Okay, so to make the board, um, okay, so after I made the boards, I laminated them because I'll be honest, it takes a long time to make these boards. If you have somebody that can help you, a parent helper or whatever, that'd be really great. I made these on my own, and, and again, it does take a long time, but then you laminate them and they last forever. Okay, so there is no laminating machine that I have available to me that's big enough for this whole sheet to go into it. So can you see this line down the center there? I actually folded them in half so that um, the words were on the outside and I thread them through the laminating machine folded. And then when they came out, I used um, an X-Acto knife um, to cut off the back of it and then scissors down the side and it opened beautifully. I mean, they turned out just like this and um, I don't need to have the back of it uh, laminated anyway. Um, so it worked out perfect. Okay, so when I printed out um, all the letters, and you'll print them out like this. Okay, they come in sheets. Oh, then I laminated these. And then I, because I want to be able to use these over and over again. And then I cut them out. And on event night, um, I had a whole bunch of little um, portion cups like this um, set out with all the letters in them on a table so participants could come up and get the letters of their name. Now, when they come up to get the letters of their name, they're going to get all letters in their name. You know, when we traditionally play it, um, we, um, like if my name was, I don't know, Mike, <laughs> um, I wouldn't need to get the M, right, because it's already here. Well, they're not gonna know um, where what letters they need, so they go up with all the letters of their name, and then they return back with one letter once they find a spot on their, their board. Um, I also had participants, um, I created these sheets, and again, you can print these out um, on our site. Um, and here's the one for second grade. And what participants did after they put, in fact, let me show you that now. I'm gonna take this one down. And here's one from last week, okay? So you can see it's filled in and out, it's really great. So participants would put their name on here, um, and then they would write it on here, and then they would add up their total points. And they would use whatever, of course, if they landed on any of these, they would include that, just like in a regular Scrabble game. And then they would write their points here. And we had a little competition to see um, at the end of the evening who, um, which grade level could get the highest score. Okay, so um, in third through fifth grade, I, I added a little challenge. Um, we didn't use this in the competition, but the challenge was for them to multiply um, the uh, the points in their name. So um, max would be three times one, which is three times eight is 24. So if you multiplied, um, that would be 24. And then they could include that on it, just as an, a little extra challenge. Now something that interesting that happened was that um, we all often think that when we multiply, we're gonna end up with bigger numbers. But let's see if I can find an example here. Um, well, we'll do Morris up here. 
If you add Morris, he gets three plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one is one, two, three, four, five. So five plus three is eight, right? If he adds, but if he multiplies, it's three times one times one times one times one times one, which ends up being three. So there was a really great conversation going on about multiplying the numbers or and, and adding the numbers. So that was um, super interesting and super fun. Um, something that a heads up on, um, on something that may um, happen, it happened to us, let me share this one with you. So um, Rosa Marie, right here, okay, her name was so long um, that she covered two of the double name scores. There's one underneath there, that pink part, and then the pink part there. And so we had to decide right there on site um, if she doubled her name and then doubled it again, or if she could only double it once. And I actually had the station facilitator um, we had sixth graders running the stations, and I let the station facilitator make that call. I said, well, what do you think we should do? Um, and she ended up deciding that they could only double it once. So um, that was something that um, we learned then. Now, to put, the, um, to put the letters on, I originally, oh, this is another great idea from Mrs. Durbin. Um, she, uh, she suggested glue dots. So I went out and got some glue dots, and they work, um, but what happens is that um, one, they're, they're a little bit pricey for how many that you might need that night, but there's a whole bunch that come off. Like you might, one letter might end up with two or three um, dots on it. And then um, when you pull them off, it takes a lot longer to get those sticky dots off the back of them. Um, so I only had one, most of the participants were using had a whole bunch of these um, single tape dispensers and they were using those, you might be able to see that up here, and it worked it worked perfectly. So probably what I'll do in the future is continue using these, but these are kind of cool and they're fun. Kids like to use them. Um, okay, so um, what else? Let's see. I think that that is, that's everything that I need to tell you about this. It was a super fun way to get them to sign in. They really liked it. Um, they liked the little competition part um, as well, and it was just different. Um, fun thing to add to a family math line event, so have fun with it.